But let's hear from you, Chef, about yes. that, the, the most important qualities. Yes, well, Frank put it there exactly the way it is. <clears throat> the thing that you must not forget, at the White House, we are not star chef. We are not TV chef. We don't work for the Food Network, thank God. <laughs> we, we are servants. And whoever forget that make a terrible mistake. Mm. This explains why, uh, you know, sometimes chef run into problem or cooks or whatever. We are there to serve the President and First Lady of the United States, regardless of the party. You cannot go that way. You cannot put your, li your, your, your thought, political thought, into your food. But the food you prepare, you definitely have to think what you're going to do today. And usually for me, it went that way. When I went to work, how is the weather today? Is it hot? Is it cold? How is the political temperature? Is it hot or cold? Is the president having a great day or a bad day? Is the first lady had some bad article in the newspaper? Mm. All that should determine the food you will serve them. Mm. And remember, Frank said it, we serve them every day for four or eight years. Mm -hmm. Can you picture yourself going to the same restaurant for four or eight years mm -hmm. and never get tired of the food? Mm -hmm. Unless you are very creative, you put your mind into it, it's going to be a disaster. Mm. And even though we wrote a weekly menu for the family, mm -hmm. but many times we would change on our own. We say, no, today I cannot give them that. Mm -hmm. Because the news of the day don't go with what I'm going to give. <laughs> right, Frank? Yeah. We did it many times, changing milk, yeah. without, without even telling them. Because uh, if the news was terrible, you want to avoid tomatoes, anything acidic. Exactly. And, and what, how good an ingredient is Pepto-Bismol? <laughs> well... You know, we were no doctor now. <laughs> but just to say, this is our role in the White House. The main role is to please the first family. Yeah. 100%. And you know, I made many guidelines for me at the White House. When I came, I said, how am I going to work in this place? What are my guidelines? I made that for myself. That's how I'm going to operate. I realized that also... You know what else? The less you're going to be seen, the better off you are. Because the first family, they're not stupid people. They've been in this business a long time. They can see when staff somehow are too much in their path. Okay? So there is a reason for that. They just want to be... The first family don't want that. This is their home. They want to be protected from the staff, not to be put in front of the staff. Mm -hmm.